the problem that, that hospitals are having nowadays, and, and it's really any building of any substantial size, um, bringing the cellular signals and, and anything that's RF inside the building, you know, especially the cellular that's existing outside. You walk inside a shopping mall, inside the hospital, uh, on an office complex, you lose coverage. They, they appreciate that, that coverage inside, especially the clinicians, um, all their paging services, um, anything they want to download uh, on the internet, on their smartphones, those sorts of things, their PDAs. They can do all that inside the hospital where without, the, with, without a DAS, they can't do that. If you look south and to the north in Phoenix, where we're at here, you can see the radio towers on the hilltops. So we're pointing at, at one of those radio towers, bringing it in, and it, it's not, there is a guideline that, that calls out for over a certain size of a building and so many subterranean floors, but generally speaking, you, you would think that any building that's, that, that's above, say, three stories, would you'd be looking at putting something in it for, for a DAS. So you would have a number of remote locations like this throughout the building. In fact, in this hospital, there's 12 floors, and we've got eight remote locations serving the entire building. The remote optical unit, it's as I said, is a neutral host system, which means we can pretty much carry, these are what you call uh, RDUs, and it calls out the technology that, that this RDU will serve, which is 1900 PCS and AWS as well, right? And then you have 800 public safety, 900 IDEN, 900 paging. And these are, this is a control module, this is the optical card. And then the other one here is 700 public safety and 850 cellular. So any carrier that's out there has got one of those technologies and it'll, it'll fit somewhere in one of these RDUs. And then you have a multiplexer down here which deals with the fiber and distributes out the signal to each of these things. So, and then filtering within, within the units as well. Um, like I say, it comes out, there's one output here and then if you look underneath, you can just see how we split it out to the number of antennas that we have to feed and the number of floors. So, we're typically getting, you know, 15 or more dBm out of that one output and then we split it out to whatever we need to. And it's adjustable too, we can turn it up, you can go as high as, it'll go up to 30 dBm's of, of output power here on the output of the ROU. But we don't typically run it that hot right now, they're running probably around 20 or 21 dBm, splitting between typically mm, 15, maybe, 15, 16 antennas per, per remote sort of thing. So you've got plenty of power when you hit the antenna as well. So. We've got two types of antennas that we use for distribution of signal throughout the building. One, they're, they're both broadband antennas, um, if you will. This one here that we're looking at is an omni-type dual band antenna. It'll, it'll cover the 800 band and, and the PCS bands. And then the, the other type we've got is a, is a tri-band, which would take us down to that third component that we, we distribute throughout here, it's the 450. And this is uh, one of the blade antennas that we spoke of upstairs. This does the 450 frequency, the 800, and the 1900 as well. Okay, this is the other end of the, uh, of the DAS, the head end location. This is where all the remotes that we we're talking about are fed from via the fiber. So um, we've got dedicated fiber going out to each of the remotes here that lands on this end right here and then there's a patch panel on, on the remote locations as well. We put six strands to each one. Um, and then what we've got here is dependent upon the signal whether it's coming from a BDA solution or a uh, BTS, a cell you know, site or something, uh, it comes into what we call the BIU, base station interface unit, which is this unit here. And it, it's conditioned and then it's sent up to the ODU and it's converted optically and then it's sent out to the remotes. And that's how the signal gets out there. It gets into the system and then out to the, distributed out onto the floor.